Have you ever wondered if your contacts are properly seated in your connector? Hi, I'm Holden with Daniels Manufacturing Corporation. Today I will demonstrate how to use the DMC's HT250 Adjustable Retention Test Tools. These tools verify the retention of pins and sockets in a connector by indicating when sufficient force has been applied. An indicator line shows how much force to apply to the contact and a plastic protector guards operators against injury and covers the set screw used to adjust and calibrate the tool. To use the HT250 tools, first, remove the shipping screw in the tool. Next, screw the appropriate contact retention tip into the body of the tool. To test sockets, use pin end tips. To test pins, use socket end tips. For this demonstration, we will use a size 16 socket tip to verify the retention of pin contacts. The aluminum tips are color-coded for different contact sizes, ranging from 26 to 4 AWG. To test the contact is properly seated, insert the contact retention tester onto the mating end of the contact. Be sure to hold the tool directly in line with the contact. Finally, apply pressure to the handle of the tool until you reach the indicator line. The contact should remain firmly in place. To adjust the HT250 series tools, use the RTCG-75B for precise calibration. Zero the display by pushing the zero button on the unit. Remove the hand protector from the tool. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise until the cradle is fully open. Also remove any installed pin or socket tips on the tool. Load the retention tester into the fixture's cradle. For HT250 tools, the side of the tool with the adjustment screw should be in the movable cradle. Now, rotate the hand wheel clockwise until the tool hits the load cell button. The readings will be on the screen. Continue rotating the hand wheel until the slide is aligned with the indicator line on the body. The reading on the display is the current force applied by the tool. If the adjustment is needed, remove the tool from the cradle to adjust the tool to your required force. Use a 5 16 open-end wrench to loosen the lock nut, then turn the adjustment screw clockwise to increase force or counterclockwise to decrease force. Use the same wrench to tighten the lock nut firmly while maintaining alignment of the slide and indicator line. Return the tool to the cradle to test the force again. If the required force is achieved, the tool is set. If precise calibration isn't required, set the tool by holding the tool firmly to a scale or other weight indicating device and apply axial force until the end of the slide is aligned with the indicator mark. The HT250 product line includes part numbers HT250-1 through-6, each offering increasing poundage from 1.5 pounds to 40 pounds. These part numbers designate a tool body only. The tips are sold separately. Alternatively, customers may purchase the DMC95 toolkit that comes complete with all six HT250 tool bodies, nine pin tips, and nine socket tips. The kit covers most contact sizes, four through 26 gauge. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and X.